quote American troubadour and philosopher Willie Nelson, last week Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo was on the road again. There's no word as of airtime whether her trip was paid for by Alex Anani, the Iggy's Clam Cake Foundation, Autocrat Syrup, or some consortium of New York hedge funds and Johnny Cake Diners. What is certain is that her destination was San Francisco, California, en route to Silicon Valley. Governor Raimondo's objective for this safari? Why, to bag a couple high-tech companies to move their major operations to the ocean state and thereby relieve us of all our woes. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Actually, I think so, but only time will tell. It was said down at TF Green Airport that she departed in a vintage open cockpit biplane named Rosenente. With her was her trusty sidekick, Stefan Pryor, once again playing Sancho Panza to her Don Q. There is plenty in the story of this quest that the famed new bevy of PR flax now infesting the statehouse can use as grist for their mill. As to what the Yahoos, Googles, Intels, and Apples of that mystical and far-off land might actually get from listening to Little Rody's pitch, well, that's somewhat in doubt. Ah, who cares? When you're on such a quest, there's the exciting feeling that you are only one spreadsheet away from a victory that will put the ocean state on easy street. If you can just land that one big fish, your future will be secure. Wait, wait, no, 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 that's the old man in the sea. I'm mixing my metaphors, sorry. The point is that it was a fantasy to think that the GE headquarters could be lured here. It was a fantasy to imagine that at Davos there would be enough rich corporate citizens so that someone could be talked into betting on Rhode Island. Don't you know that before we can find anyone to offer to buy us dinner and a movie, we have to be attractive, at least in some small way. That means getting to work here at home on a makeover. First, let's reduce just a bit. Uh, reduce expenses, that is, so we can offer lower tax rates without going broke. Maybe we can shed a few regulations, too. Then let's primp just a bit, shall we? You know, spruce up the looks of our customer service so dealing with the Department of Administration involves less fear and loathing. In short, let's make our state a place where money will come on its own because it's treated well. Maybe then, the governor would be able to get more out of a junket like this than just a free fundraiser and some frequent flyer miles. Think that'll happen? <laughs> Are you kidding me?